Okay guys, the results are in. I finally got the test run comparing the Summit Racing Turbo to the eBay GT45 Turbo. Let's take a look at the results. As you can see, the eBay GT45 Turbo made 780 horsepower on our test run. By comparison, the Summit Racing Turbo produced 923 horsepower, so a lot more. Now, that doesn't tell the whole story. The eBay Turbo can actually produce a little bit more. We've made right near 800 horsepower, but that's about all it's good for. Now that S475 Turbo from Summit Racing might be good for as much as 1,000 horsepower, so 200 more than that eBay GT45 Turbo. But let's take a look at pricing. That eBay GT45 Turbo costs only $163, or as much as three or 400, depending on where you get it from. Now the Summit Racing Turbo costs a little more, but let's look at what you get. I mean, that eBay GT45 Turbo might be good for 600, 650, maybe 700 at the tire. But what happens when you make 650 or 700 at the tire on any turbo application? Then you want 750 or 800. And that eBay GT45 Turbo just isn't gonna do it. Plus, the reliability is a little bit suspect. On the Summit Racing Turbo, has better quality, the Summit Racing guys stand behind the turbo and let's face it, it can make another 200 horsepower. So you pay more, but you also get more. Now let's take a look at the fail on this test. And they're my fails. One, I didn't run back pressure readings. And I always do that, and I didn't do that, and I should have. The other thing is, I didn't run a four port regulator to properly control the boost. My bad, I should do it. That would give us a little bit better test, but maybe that means there should be a part two to 